guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as VA Reptiles, and today I'm going to be showing you the third of the four custom-built enclosures. This one is Cusco's, my blue tongue skink. A lot of you have been asking for him. I just saved him for third, though. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be looking at his new enclosure, how I set it up, the whole nine yards. Um, he hasn't really been too adventurous yet. So you don't see a lot of videos of him actually like, exploring. He's mostly been hiding, not quite used to his enclosure yet, but that is okay. I love his enclosure and I can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how I set it up. Okay, so for his custom background, we did a tropical one with cork bark and spray foam. So this is how I have the cork bark set up and then I put some of these little plastic planters or pots in the back and I positioned them where I wanted them so I could spray foam over them. So I'm using this grape stuff, gaps and cracks, very important that you wear gloves because if you get this on your hands, it is not fun to get off. And then you just go through and spray around all your stuff, spray over your plant pots, etc., etc. So for these enclosures, I used two cans for the back and then a can for each side. So these enclosures took a total of four cans of spray foam to complete. I apparently didn't record the next step, but after the foam is dry, you want to cut away the shiny layer so that the silicone sticks better. So you want to use clear silicone one, and then you're just going to put silicone all over your background. It's easiest to do this in little pieces um, so you don't miss anything. And then you're going to spread the silicone around with your hands, making sure to get in all the nooks and crannies because that is what your dirt is going to stick to. So if you miss a spot, then you're going to see it through your dirt and it's going to look like crap. Once you spread your silicone, you're going to slap some dirt on, slap some moss on, whatever you want and pat it down. You want to make sure that it's pat down into all those nooks and crannies, that it's really stuck into the silicone. That way when you vacuum it or turn it, as much sticks to the silicone as possible. Once I did all three sides, I siliconed on some of this green moss. Um, I used it to cover spots that the dirt didn't stick to. I used it to cover up the vents so that you don't see the white metal ugly vents um, in the middle of the backgrounds. And I thought it just looked really nice. So I just used a little bit of silicone and just stuck it on there. I wanted to give it as many naturalistic components as I could, so I DIY'd some vines for it from Reptiliatus's DIY, so I'll leave that in the description below. And then I hung them up with silicone, we got the lights installed, and I stuck in some plants. So this is what it was starting to look like. Okay, so I started off Cusco's with a bag of topsoil. Now I'm just adding some clay sand to mix in. This helps hold any burrows. Just really good mix. It's good for DIY bioactive, which is what we are doing. Okay, so for our substrate, we've got a bag of topsoil, some clay sand, um, some forest floor, reptile bark from a uh, reptile bark from Josh's frogs, and some sphagnum moss that I just got off of Amazon. So I mixed it all in. Um, I'll add leaf litter when I have some. I didn't realize I was all out. So um, yeah, no leaf litter yet, but I'll get leaf litter and add it in later. And I forgot to freeze the cork bark, so we're gonna bake it um, before putting in the enclosure. So dinner break. Okay, so I really wanna go to bed. So I just went ahead and did it all just, and I'm gonna show you the end because it is 10 o'clock at night and I am tired. So 
I moved stuff around because I realized if he climbs up on top of here, he's too close to his UVB. So I made it his cool hide. Even though he has a cool hide, he has another cool hide. So I propped this up so he could hide underneath and have that be like a warm hide. It's water in the middle. His food dish goes in and out as I feed him. So this is the end product of Cusco's enclosure. I wanted, I had a ton of plants that I thought I was going to put inside, but it just, especially with the big cork, it took up too much ground space, and he's a big lizard, and he loves to, like, burrow and everything, so I'll probably end up taking out the rocks, but for now they're staying. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So tomorrow morning, we will see what he thinks. Oh yeah, I did want to try to name some of the plants for you guys. So we've got some bromeliads. I've got one there, 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 there. Um, I got those from Josh's Frogs. And then I've got some Pothos. A, I think it's a Janet Craig. Janet Craig. Um, these look like protons or whatever. And I spent a lot of time in the store researching this. So... The common name is something something croton, but technically it's not a croton, at least not the toxic kind. So when you shop them, you have to look at their scientific name, not their common name, because it can trick you. So this one's actually safe. Um, so there's that one. I think this is like a bird's nest fern. I love these. They're so pretty. I bought four of them. And now I have two just sitting, um, but it's okay because I've got more enclosure upgrades happening, so they'll, they'll get used. And then all this moss and the rocks with the moss came from the nature center, all out on our trails. So I went and got it and cleaned it and everything, made sure it was safe, no bugs, yada yada, and yeah. Okay, let's check our tents. This says 109. Let's see. Okay, so that one's gonna go on a dimmer. All right, his temps are good. So let's go ahead and put him in. I'm so excited. Here you go, buddy. Ugh, dirty. What do you think? He is so freaked out. Well, he already found one of his eyes. First thing he did. What a baby. Almost forgot our signage from Cloud Forest Designs. It's like the zoo signage. So we're gonna slap that on there. Hey. Where'd you go? I see your butt. he hides quick overview before we end today's video hide 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 he also loves to bury himself and just like move around under the dirt so he can pretty much hide wherever the heck he wants um so i'll probably take out those rocks undecided we're gonna watch him and see um but if i feel like he needs more room to dig around i'm going to take out the rocks um bromeliads bird's nest fern this plant that looks like a croton, but apparently it's not a croton. I don't know. Really weird. Um, for Janet Craig, pathos, pathos, another bromeliad. Bromeliad there. Um, lots of moss. Got a halogen basking bulb. Um, that's just a fluorescent. It will be UVB when it comes in. Um, yeah, there was an issue with my UVB I ordered. I ordered Arcadia bulbs. A week later, when I thought they'd be getting delivered, I got a notification or an email saying that they were out of stock. So pretty much everyone is out of stock of Arcadia, the ones I need right now. So I just ordered some Zoom meds. So he'll be getting a Zoom med when it comes in. It's been ordered. It was ordered several days ago, but probably a delay because of Labor Day. But technically, they don't need UVB, so he's going to be fine without it until it comes in. So yeah, ta-da! Homemade background finds 
yada 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 so if you guys like his enclosure give this video a thumbs up let me know what you think in the comments and as always thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next video bye